Hey everybody, I have another plug and play to review uh, today. This is actually another Space Invaders plug and play, but this one was made by Radica. It is larger than your normal plug and play, still runs on four AA batteries, but also if you have a compatible adapter, you can actually plug it in. We have the on off switch. Let's turn it on, have a little light above the A. Looks like that Space Invader is giving us the evil red eye to let us know that's powered on. You have some uh, soft kind of mushy buttons, but it's kind of cool that you can do either side if whatever you prefer. You have a menu button and a reset button down in there the joystick you hear that sounds like micro switches which means high quality so looking forward to that and your standard rca uh, cables with the mono audio so let's go ahead and take this space invaders plug and play let's plug it in and see how it holds up today let's go to the games the Radica Space Invaders Play TV Legends Plug and Play carries the copyright year of 2005. It contains five games based on Tato Arcade games that originally were released from 1978 to 1981. The games are selected from a simple menu screen, and whenever you lose your final life in a game, you automatically go back to that menu screen. The first game is Space Invaders itself. The goal, of course, is to destroy wave after wave of aliens using the joystick to move your ship and either button to fire your laser, while hiding behind shields and shooting UFOs for bonus points. The game ends when you lose all of your lives or when the aliens reach the bottom of the screen. Similar to the MSI Space Invaders plug and play I recently reviewed, the graphics are stepped down from the arcade version and the shields don't work as well but the sounds are more arcade like in this version which really adds to the enjoyment of the game the second game is lunar rescue in the first part of the game you use left and right to guide a rescue pod to a landing platform and press either button to activate your limited thrusters to slow your descent once you successfully land and rescue one of your men you will head back to your ship but this time pressing either button fires a laser while holding a button increases your speed this is a fun game but is missing a lot of the sounds from the arcade game. The next game is Colony 7. This game reminded me of Missile Command and according to the manual may have influenced the creation of Atlantis by Magic. In this game you protect your colony at the bottom of the screen by moving a cursor and firing with the A button or launching a smart bomb with the B button. If your two cannons on the sides of the screen are destroyed or if the enemies break through the shields and destroy the entire colony you lose a life. I found this game just like the previous two to also be enjoyable. Game number four is Phoenix. It plays like an evolved space invaders with waves of different types of enemies including a boss fight. In this game the A button shoots and the B button activates as temporary shield but you can't move when the shield is activated. This is a tough but fun game. Finally we have the kid tested mother approved kicks. In this game you draw shapes trying to fill in as much of the screen as possible. You lose a life if the randomly moving kicks touches a line you are drawing before you complete a shape or if a sparks that travels along the edges touches you. You press A to draw fast or B to draw slow for extra points. This is one of my favorite older arcade games and it plays great here as well. Overall, the graphics and sounds in this collection are not arcade perfect, but for the most part they do get the job done, although arcade purists may not agree. I do wish Space Invaders looked better and that Lunar Rescue wasn't missing so many sounds. Family friendly wise, there really isn't anything objectionable here, and the system got an E for everyone rating when it was released. At the time I researched on eBay, including shipping, only new systems had sold recently for about $30 a piece, although there were used ones available starting at $14. So what do I think of the Radica Space Invaders plug and play? I was really impressed. Even though all five games are arcade hard and not arcade perfect when it comes to presentation, I had fun with every game. And the joystick works great. It's so good that some gamers have been known to modify these plug and plays into joysticks for older systems like the Atari 7800. I also enjoyed the game selection more than the Jack specific Space Invaders plug and play I reviewed in episode 227, even though that version had more games. I will say that the Jack specific version had slightly better versions of Space Invaders and Kicks, but overall I enjoyed the Radica version more. So where am I going to rank the Radica Space Invaders plug and play? Pretty high. I like it better than the Sega Genesis Play TV Legends Volume 2 at number 5, but I do like the EA Sports Madden and NHL Hockey Combo one more at 4. So out of the 23 plug and play systems I've now ranked, the Radica Space Invaders plug and play is taking over the 5 position. The Radica Space Invaders plug and play offers a nice variety of early arcade fun. So what do you think of this plug and play? Whether you agree or disagree with me, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Also feel free to click the like and subscribe buttons and follow me both on the Facebook or 
for the Twitter. I'm also a member of the Retro Junkies Network. At this time, I'd like to thank Malik Zero from the forums at Atari.io for trading me this plug and play to review today. Thank you, MZ. I'd also like to thank the extraordinary Jose for supporting the show through Patreon. Thank you, Jose. If you appreciate the work I do, please consider joining the League of Extraordinary Patreon supporters by signing up at patreon.com slash nosweargamer for as little as a dollar a month. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time in the next episode of the No Swear Gamer. Take care, everybody.